Hello. Hi, it's me. Hi, how are you? How was your trip? Oh, fine, fine. How's Timmy? Oh, he's great. What a neat kid. Oh, thanks. I'm glad y'all are getting along. You're like gangbusters. How about you? So where are you? In Castle at the Sea View Hotel. Oh, excuse me. Well, it is rather grand. I'm sorry, I couldn't call sooner. I've been out shopping most of the morning. Oh, yeah, I hope you've been out shopping. You didn't even take time to pack anything. Oh, and a toothbrush. Um, Matt, have you had any phone calls or visitors? And uh, everything okay? Well, why shouldn't it be? And, and who'd call me? No one knows where I am. Oh, yeah, well, right, sure. There's something you're not telling me. No. no. Donna, who? Who should I expect to be seeing or, or hearing from? Donna, talk to me. Uh... Some luck with our tailwinds, folks. Looks like we'll be landing in Glen Castle ahead of schedule. Great! May I get you a cocktail, sir? Beautiful hair. Thank you. Now, what can I get you to drink? Uh, bring me a double. No, I'm not having anything. Just some coffee. I keep the noodle over. Sharp and clear. Mm, tricky job ahead. As tricky as you can imagine, doll. The old master. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> What is going on? Uh, nothing. No. Who should I be expecting? Uh, uh, nobody. I'm just talking. You know how I am. Just don't pay me any attention. Sure. Of course. I, how can anybody contact you when nobody knows where you are, right? Right. And, and nobody has any way of, of finding you. Well, I certainly hope not. I need to be alone. Well, well, of course you do. I didn't even tell Adam where I was when I talked to him this morning. Good. He's one man you don't need contacting you. He won't. Sorry, I gotta say this. I am so sorry because I know how tired you are of hearing it, but you can't marry Adam. Look, he can give me many things. Oh, many things. Yeah, grief is one of those many things. And torment. Come on, Natalie. The guy's not proposing marriage. He's pitching a deal. We both like deals. We both appreciate money. Yeah, well, in my book, greed is a bad basis for a long-time commitment. Well, the business approach might work. The romance approach might work a whole lot better, and Trevor is the guy who can do that. Donna, I know you're just trying to help, and I appreciate it. No, listen it. to me. I love you. You're my best friend, and I want to see you happy. Trevor Donna, is the man... please, I really don't want to listen to anything about Trevor. Uh, uh, Trevor I, don't, I don't want to hear his name. Nothing. Please, please. I hate the man. It's, it's simple. I just hate him. Besides, I know what I need, and I don't need anyone's advice to help make me make this decision. Okay. I got a lot of things I need to do. Listen, thank you for taking care of Timmy. Oh, anytime. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Okay. Bye.
16, here it is. Trevor Dillon, you look like a jerk. That one's romance, just gonna get romance. Surprise. Just like in the movie, sucker, freeze. Mama told me there'd be days like this. All My Children will continue in a moment. Now, you gonna tell me what you think you're doing? Gonna tell me who you think you are? Why should I? I've got the gun. Yeah, and you just might go off and hurt somebody. Well, that's the idea, chump. You, you must be the house detective, right? That's it, Einstein. Now, what the hell are you doing picking locks? Secret. Oh, that's him. That's him. That's the man. All right, wise guy. The police are on their way. Good, good. I could use the backup. What? I am the police. Oh, sure. With champagne, candy, and flowers. I'm, um, I'm working undercover. Uh, check my pocket. Lower right jacket pocket. Right, yeah. <laughs> Pine Valley Police. He's legit. You gonna put the pop gun away? Now, see here, if you're the police, why didn't you notify us? Well, I, I didn't want to blow my cover. What are you talking about? You sure, want the whole world should know. Sorry, doll. Mm -hmm. Not you. Excuse mm -hmm. us. What is this all about? Uh, there is an unnamed person in uh, Pine Valley with connections to both Coast and, and Las Vegas. Uh, you, ca you catch my drift? Well, but what has that got to do with Mrs. Hunter? Well, Mrs. Hunter, sh she appears to be your normal, everyday blonde citizen, right? Huh? She's not. Ah, she is the number one girlfriend of said unnamed party. Oh. And the occasional accountant for such unnamed party, and also sometimes liquidator for this fiendish friend of hers. Liquidator? That's right. Kind of a cute name she's got, huh? Hunter. Yeah. And it's very possible. She is on assignment right now at this moment, and definitely armed and dangerous. Oh, dear. How can we help? I, I need to know where she is right away. The, the maid could have blown my cover. I'm afraid I don't, I don't know where she is. Um, the desk clerk might know. Guests always confer with him about... Well, what are we waiting for? Hunter? 
Yep. Oh, great. She's gonna love this. I was supposed to go on the trip with her, but I had a big takeover attempt I had to deal with. Oh, she was so upset, she cried like a baby. She's a sweet kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, to make a long story short, here I am, ready for action. Me being the uh, top-notch seafaring man that I am, I figured maybe you'd just scoot off and I could uh, surprise her. She'd be so happy. You know, I, I take care of the whole trip, top to bottom, stem to stern. Don't think so. What? Mrs. Hunter hired me. I can't go without her saying I can go. Well, she told her, ruin the surprise. She's gonna be happy to see me. You want her to be happy. I need the money. You need a better story. Well, I'll match the money and raise your fifth. Forget it. A hundred. Come on, scram. Nope. Something ain't right here, and I'm not going along with it. <laughs> Come on, old man. You don't want better scram. Or you're gonna be in big trouble. Okay. I'm going. Disappoint the lady, could I? You better get off this boat. You know, I was just thinking I should do the same for you. I could let you off right at the next breakwater, right there. I'm a little rubber duck duck, no too many Never been in better hands. 